Hey guys, welcome to this Steam It Saturday vlog. This seemed like the appropriate time to get into the how-tos of uploading to DTube. Now, if you're like me and have been spreading the message of DTube and Steam It to our fellow YouTubers and to our fellow social media content creators, then you know that one of the biggest questions we oftentimes get is, how do you upload to DTube? Because many times people have been experiencing error problems and other issues trying to get their videos on DTube to spread their message. So in this particular video, we're going to be discussing how you go about uploading to DTube. All right, guys. So here we are on the desktop. So let's go ahead and fire up Handbrake. I'm going to leave a link down in the published section below so you guys can download Handbrake. Now, if we look at this current Friday vlog video and go to properties, you can see that it's 591 megabytes and the details are 1920 by 1080. So a little large for DTube. Now, you can, on higher resolution videos, compress these down to about 591 to put on DTube. But I would say if you can keep it under 680, you'll probably have a better opportunity to getting it uploaded with a little less errors and complications on DTube. But since we're using Handbrake, we can do something a little different. Now, as you can see, some of these post Handbrake videos, we've gone from the 510 to 130 which is much more manageable, much more palatable for DTube to use. So we're going to show you how to do that. So all you're going to do is once a handbrake is up, you're just going to simply drag and drop straight into this gray area of the handbrake uh, um, program. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to go over here and we're just going to select fast 1080p 30 frames per second. Okay. You can see the container or format is going to be MP4. You also have the option of MKV, but unfortunately there is no WMV, which is the universal PC Windows format, which is very nice, especially for YouTube. But for our purposes, we're going to keep it in MP4. Now, I've not seen a whole lot of difference using Web Optimize or not using Web Optimize, but for our purposes right now, we're going to go ahead and use Web Optimize. And our width, I'm going to set this to 1080 and our height at 720. Now you'll find videos out there that will suggest 1280 by 720. Now that just depends on your personal preference. I like the width of 1080, at least for our purposes here on DTube. Now these other settings, for example, for filters, you can just leave these on default. You'll be perfectly fine. Same thing for video. It will be at 30 frames as you can see here and the constant quality will be 22 if you go up on this it can affect uh, the quality of it audio will be in stereo which is fine the bit rate is perfectly fine at 160. subtitles if you ever get an opportunity to get to that level of wanting to use that feature you can and then chapters also if you're dividing it into segments but for our purposes to keep things simple we're going to go with 1080 width 720 height web optimized mp4 and cropping automatic now, next thing we're going to need to do is we got to go to Browse, and we'll just name it. For example, Test DTube, and then you can save it wherever you want. We'll just put it here in Documents, and then I'll just do Save. And then we're going to go up here to Start Encoding, and it obviously is going to start encoding. Now, when you want to get a little fancier with it, you can click on your Add, and then you can just create a preset for it. If we look down here, you can see that I already have two different presets because I'm still kind of experimenting with Handbrake, especially since, um, well, since before the update, it was kind of tricky sometimes to get these videos out there, especially when I was doing Civilization VI. These videos can be as long as 23 minutes, 1080p, 60 frames per second, which are way too big for DTube, at least for right now anyway. So um, I break these down into 20-minute segments uh, on uh, currently on the recordings so that they'll fit a little bit better on DTube. So now as we go ahead, I'm going to let this just kind of encode in the background, but that's really all you guys need to know as far as how that really operates. And then you can go to your browser and um, you probably have already gone through this before. I'm just going to go to DTube right here and we will go to the upload right here. And I just kind of minimize the screen a little bit here so I can see what's going on. And then you're just going to go to the folder that you saved your video on. And we will go with um, the test DTube. And we'll just slide it over here and drop it right into this box. 
Now you see uh, the file format isn't correct because I picked the wrong one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the upload. Oh, we'll just close this out actually. And let's start over again. So that what you just saw there is what you would get if you were using the wrong format. So I'm kind of glad that I screwed that up just so you guys could see what it would look like if it's incorrect format uh, for DTube. So we're gonna go back here again and we're gonna choose the upload video. And we're gonna choose one that actually has been formatted already, which is the Friday vlog. Which throws me off a little bit. And you can see that it's uploading video. And of course, you'll wait till it goes across the whole entire meter. You'll put in your title, of course, your descriptions, and up to four tags. I have gone up to six, but with the newest changes, it seems uh, it'll give you a warning down here to say um, four tags. So you'll know that it's at four tags. Uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out because I don't want it to upload that video. But what you've seen right here is essentially what you'll need to do. And the most important part, of course, is ensuring that your videos are a bit smaller than the original sizes. So you see here, this is 130 megabytes, which is great. And even some of my higher end videos like um, Civilization, you can see that it's 595 megabytes compressed, but they seem to do pretty well. And this version 0.7 that came out seems to do really well. If you guys have any questions or comments or have concerns about uploading, go ahead and leave your comments uh, either here on YouTube and or in DTube itself if you come across this video and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out if you're on YouTube guys go ahead and click on that watermark you see appearing on your screen to subscribe and if you are on Steam and, and DTube guys I'd really appreciate a follow and power-ups if you thought the content was worth your while